And tomorrow is a new day in a new school for a group of children in Newtown, Connecticut. The Sandy Hook Elementary School is in effect relocating, moving teachers, students, even desks and backpacks into new quarters. A borrowed building seven miles away. Children and teachers toured today. And ABC's Amy Robach explains. Amy? It may take some extra time on the school bus tomorrow, but that ride may feel extra special. The streets leading to their new school lined with their school color, green, and signs of love and support. Snowflakes hang throughout the newly named building, sent in from around the world with messages of hope. In a matter of weeks, the community has been hard at work retrofitting a building originally designed as a middle school to meet the needs of younger students. Bathroom sinks and toilets were lowered and the gym remodeled. And in many classes, students will return to find the desks exactly as they left them. A great deal of thought and effort and uh, volunteer work to make this as seamless as possible. At one point, there were 80 people in the building, cleaning up the building, doing the kinds of things, painting to make it really look cheerful and happy. There will be familiar faces as well. Not only will students be reunited with their heroic teachers, Sandy Hook's new principal is actually its former principal, Donna Paget, who retired just two years ago. When you return to familiarity in a situation that feels really comfortable, and that will really help restore your previous beliefs and restore uh, those, that worldview that might have gotten shaken up by the trauma. And officials also know the importance of restoring a sense of security for everyone. Lieutenant, what, what makes this the safest school in America? I think right now it has to be the safest school in America. We've actually installed numerous different security devices at this school and we are going to remain our presence on location until further notice. And because everyone knows these first few days will be a balancing act between security and normalcy, Sandy Hook parents will be allowed to bring their children into the classroom with them. And school officials are hoping someone else may help. The school's pet, Shelly the Turtle, will be there welcoming students back to class tomorrow. Diane. All right. Thank you, Amy. And we sure will be thinking of all of them in the morning.